Hey everyone, this is John with KG Tropicals and KGTropicals.com. This is part one in a video series titled Building an African Cichlid Hatchery slash Tropical Fish Store. If you saw our previous video that said big announcement, you learned that we are moving our cichlid hatchery into a new building and also expanding that hatchery as well as adding a tropical fish store. And so I'm going to document every step of the way of this whole process, but right now there's nothing to document because we don't get the building until December 1st. So I can't show you anything, you know, there's nothing to show you because the previous tenants aren't out yet. So I did think though that it would be a good idea to talk about what our plan is and what we've done so far because we're going to make an explosion when we first move into that building because we've put together such a good plan and, and already implemented some of the things on that plan, we're going to be able to get started right away as soon as we take occupancy December 1st. So what have we done so far? Well, the lease is signed, the building is ours, it's good to go, December 1st. We've also um, scratched the biggest item off of the list that we've got, which is the tanks. Um, the tanks were the biggest budgeted item we had, and it was going to consume a vast majority of our budget and we were pretty concerned about what we were going to do but Lisa found a deal on Craigslist out in Knoxville Tennessee about nine hours from me um, that was a fish distributor that closed down about seven years ago and the short version of the story is uh, the owner of the property where this distributor was uh, basically just wanted to clear it out wanted to clear the building out because he wanted to use it for something else and he put his 14 year old grandson in charge of getting rid of those tanks. Grandpa told me that if he hadn't sold all of these tanks he was going to dig a hole and throw them all into the hole and, and bury them. What a tragedy that would have been. So I'm glad I got a hold of these people when I did. We ended up getting an outrageous deal on these and I want to send a special shout out to Paul, the young man who sold us these tanks. Special, special kid. I've never met anybody like him. Uh, this kid gets up every morning at 4 o'clock in the morning to feed the animals on the farm. Uh, good student, very well mannered, just an incredible kid. And, uh, and it was a real treat to, to deal with him for, for two days out there in Knoxville. He helped us the whole time. We loaded up somewhere around, I don't know the exact number, but somewhere around 400 tanks we purchased from him. Uh, among other things, we got a couple other things, plumbing supplies and stuff like that. I won't get into all that. But, um, but we ended up buying about 400 tanks and um, we, <laughs> we got the deal of the century on them. Um, and these are all pre-drilled tanks and the, the, the way they're pre-drilled is going to pose a challenge that we're going to talk about in a, in a, in a video coming up, but, um, but nonetheless, they are pre-drilled on the bottom of the tank, uh, every single one of them, pre-drilled, 20 longs, 29s, 30s, and 45s, and I don't think we would have really been able to, to make this happen on our budget if we had to buy these tanks new. And there's no way we would have been able to go around town and buy all these tanks from people on Craigslist. And who knows when Petco is going to do their deal, which is a great deal, by the way, that dollar a gallon special that they do every once in a while. We bought a lot of tanks that way. So this deal that we got from Paul out in Knoxville was actually better, way better than Petco's deal. So enough about that. We got the tanks. Our landlord was nice enough to let us keep them on the property over there. Um, for when we move in, so we're not moving them back and forth and everything. Um, and as far as the plan goes, well, we have designed the building, we've designed the store and the hatchery. The hatchery is going to have 310 tanks in it. Uh, they're all going to be 55s, 45s, 30s, and 20 longs. Um, 310 tanks is going to be one heck of a hatchery compared to, we're using about 100 tanks for breeding in here right now. Not breeding, but breeding and raising the fry. So that's going to be a huge jump for us. We're going to go from breeding 25 different varieties of fish 
to 51. Um, and bonus peacocks halves. We're sticking with African cichlids in this building. Um, that's you know that's been our bread and butter. That's what got us started. That's what we're going to continue with. Um, we will, however, be breeding some different fish in the basement. That's going to be something to talk about again in another video. It's probably six months to a year down the road. We got the tanks for it, but we're going to be so busy setting everything else up and establishing ourselves in this new building. Um, we're, we're probably not going to have time to mess around with the basement right off the bat, but I'm really excited about what we're going to be doing down there. Check back six months or so, and you'll be able to see it. Um, the store itself, which is above the basement, uh, is going to have about 160 tanks. Um, and we're going to sell everything from African cichlids. We're going to have one whole wall of African cichlids with our 240-gallon anchoring the whole wall as our show tank, display tank. Um, I'm super excited about that. There's nothing prettier than a massive African cichlid tank. Um, we're going to have a 125-gallon South American cichlid display tank and a 150-gallon discus display tank, which, again, I'm super excited about. Um, that gives you a little bit of a hint about what we're going to be talking about doing in the basement. We'll talk about that later. But um, we have the layout of the store already designed. Uh, it's going to work. We have the design of the hatchery already laid out. We know where everything's going to go, and we know how we're going to set the building up uh, as far as filtration and heat and, and all of that good stuff. And we're going to document all of that in this video. But one of the things that I'm excited about the most is going from 120 tanks to almost 500 when you include the basement, the water changes are going to be outrageous. And I've already been asked, how are you going to do it? Uh, well, it's not going to be with siphon tubes and buckets, I'm going to promise you that. We are going to set up a system in the store and in all the display tanks and in the hatchery uh, that's going to be an automated water changing system. Really excited about that, excited about that. I'm going to do a whole video about how I designed it um, and put it together. Now, I didn't invent this thing. It's not, you know, I'm not coming up with a system that nobody's ever done. But what I have done with this water changing system is taken ideas from all over the place and made it, you know, made them all kind of fit together and work for what we want to do on our budget. Uh, and it is pretty creative, so I think you'll get a lot out of that. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, so we got a good plan. I mean, we know what we're going to do. We know what we're doing day one when we move into that building. Uh, shooting for January 5th as our opening date. Uh, we were going to go for the 1st, but that's Tuesday. We're going to go for the 5th, which is a Saturday. Um, and uh, it's going to be exciting. We're going to have you know all different kinds of fish. We're not just selling African cichlids in the store. We're going to have everything. Community fish, uh, oddballs, plecos, South Americans, New World cichlids, African cichlids, you name it, discus. Uh, we will not have any saltwater fish in there. Uh, I've never in my life owned a saltwater tank. If I was to put a saltwater tank in my store, I would not be able to tell the customers how to take care of it. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to sell something that I'm not confident being able to talk to my customers about. So pretty much everything involved in um, freshwater fish we're going to have in that store. So kind of flaming out here on what to, what to talk about. So we're going to end it at that. Our plan is in place. Um, as far as our next video on this whole process, it's, it's probably going to be a while. It's probably going to be after December 1st because you don't want to sit here and stare at me just talking. Uh, I'm sure you want to see some action going on. And we don't get the building until December 1st, so I won't have anything to show you. As soon as the building's cleared out, I will go over there and shoot a video of it and show you guys what we've got going on over there. Uh, and maybe you'll see why we're so excited about it. It really does fit exactly the way we want our building to lay out. So, um, so definitely subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Twitter, KG Tropicals, uh, Facebook.com backslash KG Tropicals. Keep in touch. We will definitely keep you updated on the whole process. Uh, I'm also going to be starting another series about African cichlids. That's what I'm going to be working on until we move into the new building because I won't have anything to show you with the new building until then. So uh, keep you guys updated. 
comment below. Let me know what you think. Not a whole lot to comment on yet, but if you just want to talk about why haven't I shaved in the last week, whatever. Uh, let's get some conversation going. Let's have some fun with this. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Hopefully it's not too long before we're able to show you the building. All right? Thanks, guys.